please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's Friday, April 3rd, 2020, and it's a day one on the rotating block schedule. Now here's Grace Conturso and Anthony Gill with the rest of today's announcement. Good morning, Wayne Hills. I'm Anthony Gale. Let's take a look at what's going on with the spring music. The Wayne Hills Theater Department was all set to perform their show Cinderella on March 19th, 20th, and 21st, when the coronavirus outbreak unfortunately stopped this from happening. Schools closed on Tuesday, March 17th, the week the actor's show was supposed to happen. Although this is a devastating turn of events for the students, the show must go on, as they say. The actors and actresses filled out a survey to indicate what possible dates they could reschedule the show so that all their hard work would not go to waste. All tickets previously purchased can still be used for future performances. In the meantime, students are using this time to practice their lines, sing, and dance while stuck inside the house due to the quarantine. Although this is an unusual experience, the Wayne Hills Theater Department will continue to persevere through these troubling times. The department hopes that the show will still be able to take place, but for now, they can hope that everyone stays interested and ready to attend the show after the coronavirus outbreak is contained. This year's SDA theme was SDA Heads Back in Time. Let's take a look at how this season went and when I got to sit down with Emma Hogan, the white overall. <laughs> Here I am with the 2020 white overall, Emma Hogan. Hi, Emma. Hi, Kyla. So first today, I wanted to ask you, how was your experience in SDA this year as the overall? As the 2020 white overall, it was definitely a roller coaster of emotions coming from, I have no dance background. I've never like cheered. I think I did dance classes when I was little, but I was honestly really nervous at the beginning of the season. But as the season progressed, I became more and more comfortable with my team and more and more comfortable with the dances. And honestly, like it was one of the best experiences of my high school career. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear it. Do you have a favorite <laughs> memory from this year? Um, definitely the first night in the locker room. 
the first night when I went to the locker room to give the girls the little spiel that the overall gives was the first time it like hit me that I was the overall and that this was my team and there was just so much love in that locker room that night and seeing all the girls in their first dance costumes and seeing the girls like reaction to like me and the other officers coming to their dresses like really made it feel like a family. And how did it feel to finally get first place and win with the white team? Um, the feeling was definitely like unlike no other, given that this was the first year I've won SBA or been on a winning team. And I was honestly really surprised when White Palm came out on first. Lourdes and Aria put a tremendous amount of work into that dance. They did everything themselves. They made their props themselves. They like did their costumes themselves when they had to make edits. And I think the final result of the dance definitely was worthy of first place. Thank you so much for being today here today. Back to no you problem. guys. <laughs> The Winos competition cheer team had an amazing season this year. Let's take a look in depth at their season. The Wayne Hills competition cheer team had a tremendous season this year. Throughout the season, the team competed at 10 competitions and had many practices and team bonding events. The team started out strong, winning first place and grand champion on their first competition. The team also went to Orlando, Florida for all out nationals where they won first place and grand champion. The team also spent a day at Universal Studios before returning home. Their last competition was in Ocean City, Maryland, where they ended the season strong at another national competition. During the season, the team also had a joint fundraiser with all the Wayne cheer teams. The team collected gifts to donate to children at Hagensack Medical Center. Overall, the competition cheer team had an amazing season, and we cannot wait to see what they accomplish next year. The girls' basketball team had a great season this year. Let's take a look. The girls' basketball team made great strides this season, improving as individual players and as a team. They gave a tremendous amount of energy and effort from the first day of tryouts until their last state game. The team made a big impact both on the court and off the court as well. They were involved in charitable events such as Go for the Goal, supporting pediatric cancer research, and canned food drives. They also helped out with the unified basketball program for a practice session and supported the team during their game. The Wayne Hills girls varsity team won 11 games during their season, including wins over every team in their league. They had key victories over Wayne Valley, Lakeland, and Jefferson during senior night. They lost a very close game in the county quarterfinals versus the number one seed DePaul. The team had a very successful season and look forward to seeing where they can go in the following years. Wow, what a great season, girls. Guys, suggesting how much should be on the next BMI? DM us on Instagram or Twitter and let us know. Thank you for watching. This has been Grace Conterso and have a great rest of the day.